Okay, folks, I'm going to tie another wee Mayfly pattern, just a wee wet style one. The hook in the vise is a size 10 standard heavyweight wet fly hook. The thread that I'm going to start off with is you need thread 8 ohm white. So just come in and get my thread started behind the other hook. Then I'm just going to run a bit of thread down, bring my thread down until I'm slightly past the point of the hook and just remove the waist tag of the thread. Now the tail on the fly is cock fuzz and fibres and I've got about a half a dozen fibres here so I just want this to be twice the length of the hook over the back to there just going to come around with a turn then taking my thread turns down the hook tying in the tail the rib is going to be a Chinese red floss uni floss and Chinese red so I've got a length here from the last fly so I'm going to offer it up and pull it in the length of the pheasant tail and then I'm just going to run my thread up tying in these two materials I'm right, just going to take my thread right the way up tying them in and bring my thread back and open turns the body's going to be dubbed so I don't need to be too fussy now the body is going to be a natural this is a natural seal spur so I'm going to take a small pinch Dub this on, right? That will get us started. So just dub that on, slide it up. And then once you get it started onto the hook, if you need to, you can tighten up. Right, just a wee bit short, so I'm gonna come in with a just another wee pinch, not too much. Just dub it on, slide it up. Just to finish off at the top now anything that's going forward just stroke it back and bring your thread in front the body hackle is going to be a light this is a light olive hackle i'll show you the cape that's it there so i'm just going to come in and take away all the rubbish at the bottom of the feather offer this up to the hook come around with a couple of nice tight turns to secure everything in and then just come in and trim away the, the excess of the stem and then we're going to just palmer the hackle down the body and I like to get two turns at the top and then four turns three or four turns down the down the body it's ground to there holding the tip it's going to come across with the Chinese red floss and then you're looking four turns of the Chinese red floss up the body anything that's going forward just stroke it back bring your red floss up in front follow it around with the thread now I don't want to catch any of the haggle fibers just want to get them to sit back just come in with a nice few tight turns just to secure that in come in you can trim away your Access your floss and break away the tip at the back. Just going to come in with a wee bit of Velcro. Just bring out the, any of the fibres I may have caught in. And that brushing the, the body hard because I don't want to fray the Chinese red floss. Now, I'm just going to bring my thread to the eye. Then I'm going to swap over to the Uni 3801 black. Just going to come in, simply get the thread started at the eye of the hook. Just run it up. And then I'm going to come in, trim away the black thread, trim away the white thread, and then just stroke it back. Come in in front. Next haggle, Bodger haggle. Right, on a long one, so I'm going to come in. Just take a feather away, stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip. After the tip up of the hook, come around with a turn to hold, another turn to secure, fold back the tip, bring your thread back up over, come in, locate the tip, and you can bring it away. And then I'm going to come in and just stroke back 
fibers on the stem. You're just looking one turn in front of the other. It turns are up to yourself. Depends how heavy you like the fly dressed. Just want them one turn in front of the other. Now, two's plenty for me to there. I'm flying around with the thread. One turn to hold. A couple of turns to secure. I'm going to fold back the tip the stem and bring my thread back up over the stem. Then I'm going to break the stem off. Now, just bring the thread tight up against the haggle. Not on to it, just tied up against it, stroke everything back. So we're not looking too bad at the moment. The front tackle is a French partridge. Dyed in picric acid. That's it there, lovely bright colour. So I'm just going to take away all the rubbish at the bottom. And just locate your tip, stroke the fibers back to reveal your tip, and then come up and just offer it up to the feather. The way we've done with the, or up to the hook, the way we've done with the other feathers, one turn to hold, another turn to secure, fold back the tip, bring your thread to the eye, and then just work your thread up over the tip of the hackle, and the hackle itself. Come in, locate the tip. And break it away. I don't want all of this, so I'm gonna just strip some of this off. I'm not need it all. So I'm gonna stroke back the stroke back the fibers. And then you're just looking one turn in front of the other. I like I say I'm I'm not looking too many. Um turns of the feather because there's plenty of plenty on there for me so just let me check okay that's going to do me there so do you see the remainder I'm going to strip it off not going to need all that just going to come around to there hold the stem follow it around with a thread just catch it in nice and tight turns at this stage I'm going to fold back the stem, bring my thread to the eye, and I'm just going to build up my head. Stop over the stem, just take your time, and we'll go over the stem. There we go. And just building up your head at this stage, nice and tight. <laughs> And then just come in keeping your thread tight you can break away the stem still keeping your thread tight just come in with your whip finishing tool and just doing a whip finish just to finish you off pull your thread up nice and tight come in throw away your thread and what i'm going to do at this stage is i'm just going to come in with my brush the old tooth brush i just want to brush out any of the fibers that i've caught that's why i was winding everything around so just let you see the fly there you go so just to finish off we drop a varnish on the head just right the whole way right round and then you can come in a bit of wire clean out the eye and there you go so well, it's just another we may fly pattern and the using the the French partridge. Um I have to say lovely bright colour when the feathers are dyed in the, the picric acid. So look, give the fly a wee go. Um and hopefully it can catch you a few fish.